after my life ends, I would very much like to remain a vivid manifestation of humanity among the people and thus awaken it in others. Vidunas, 1868-1953 Past, present and future, all captured in a bronze likeness of the prominent thinker. Connection between times and generations, as advocated by the 19th century Lithuanian Mahatma, Vilius Storostas Vidunas. More on how Ukrainian sculptors Oleksiy Daruk and Boris Krylov created a monument to the famous Lithuanian and how joint projects unite countries and promote friendship. All about this in the next program Pro Art. That was a real flight of fancy. I think that currently this is very trendy. Year 2016, month of August, we're starting to shape Vidunas. In September there will be a competition and we will try our best to win. We are very glad that another joint project appeared. This is one more joint work of art. This is a sculpture of our prominent genius, writer, philosopher and cultural figure Vidunas. He was a writer and a teacher. This is a man that I believe should be studied, and if possible, not just by Lithuanians. If you analyze it deeply, this person is perhaps something like a true icon. And of course, such cultural projects between Lithuania and Ukraine are deeply symbolic. That is, they demonstrate both solidarity and cooperation between our artists. The monument to the famous Lithuanian thinker Storostas Vidunas is ready to depart to its homeland of Lithuania. Embodied in bronze by the artists, it is practically floating above the ground. An image was born. We just sat down in our workshop, started talking and immediately had an idea that he should be soaring. And we had this idea to put him on the grass so he didn't flatten. We decided to create him without shoes. And so he's barefoot, floating in his bright thoughts. It all started when Ukrainian sculptors took part in an international competition in Lithuania and won. The team of Oles Sidoruk and Boris Krylov started bringing their project to life. From the figure of Vidunas we started to understand Lithuanian mentality. Their degree of spirituality is so high. It is spirituality of the nation and persons. We have a monument to a man and a great person. And at the same time he's very, very simple and down-to-earth and a very deep thinker. I think that sculptors Oles Sidoruk and Boris Krylov conveyed and presented this idea very, very precisely. Co-production is a worldwide practice. Joint production in any kind of art broadens one's horizons and gives new opportunities for implementing the conceived projects. Bright examples of effective cultural cooperation between Ukraine and Lithuania are the works by sculptors Sidoruk and Krylov. I think that today this tandem shows there is a good reason our countries, for so many years, lived, live and probably will keep on living together for a long time. We have such a great and interesting history between Lithuania and Ukraine. This is probably why these things somehow were passed down genetically. Vidunas is a Lithuanian playwright, philosopher and cultural figure. His fate was dramatic and enlightening. In light of the challenges posed by the modern age, his ideas of the unity of Western and Eastern cultures are as topical as can be, the Lithuanian ambassador stressed. He was firstly a great and bright humanist who stood for humanity and peace. He was acquainted with Mahatma Gandhi. And this is why we consider him a philosopher of an all-European and global scale. This is our studio. We're starting to create a monument to Vidunas. Just like any artistic work, the profession of a sculptor requires some solely technical talents to bring the idea to fruition, as well as deep knowledge about the subject presented. We need to read everything and study it carefully. This is an imperative task to immerse myself in the image. If another nationality is involved, in particular Lithuanians, I need to feel their intellect. This is very important. We started communicating with Lithuanians a year or two before we could start to implement this project. The sculptors spent most of their time researching the Lithuanian thinker by studying his photos. 
eyes of the hero left them with the strongest impression. Especially in his youth, a piercing gaze seemed to penetrate all the way through, and of course the hands, which distinguish Vidunas on every photo. We'll need to make a portrait of his mood, inspired, or to make him no, we need to pick a photo. There are very good images of him on the Internet for which he posed. There are several of them at various ages and with the same hand position. I think this is the coolest and most recognizable one. So this is how we will accomplish this task. Firstly, we were inspired by the image of Vidunas, because his eyes, his portrait and his very body structure were so impressive and light. It was impossible to imagine this man not soaring through the air. There were even remarks by people who were his contemporaries, that he didn't walk on earth, but in fact soared above it. He was such a soaring person. Yes, the first impression is really very warm, because the first thing that comes to mind when looking at this monument is humanity, and such a warm and bright expression. Indeed, the philosopher's face is very expressive. Let's make him barefoot. Oh, super! And with these tendons visible on his feet, this will be exactly what we need. And we'll leave the boots nearby, near the fountain. Yes, and put apples near the boots. With apples, it's a perfect idea. And let them make an apple garden there. They wanted to make an apple garden. They've cut down the pine trees and will plant a garden instead. And every autumn they'll have apples and every spring everything will bloom. Yes, then it will bloom. That's all. This is how we'll roll. The personality of Vilius Storostas Vidunas is so great and unusual that studying his biography captivated not just the sculptors, but also everyone who was involved in the project. Because, for example, Ambassador Marius shows great interest in the work's progress. He comes to the workshop. He's very busy, but he can set some of his work aside and come here to find out if something is needed. Together with Robertas, there are frequent guests. When I found out that the guys have started making this sculpture, a monument to Vidunas, I started reading through materials that give a better representation of this person. Interestingly, I read that at the age of 16 he was suffering from a harsh lung disease, which was considered incurable at the time. And he made a decision not to give up. And you won't believe this man cured himself and incredibly lived to the age 84. The image of Vidunas, just like other subjects for sculptures, was first born as a miniature figurine made of plasticine, which Boris Krylov calls a model. Beautiful. This is how, slowly, bit by bit, these beautiful models are born. This is also one of the characteristic peculiarities of these artists. They don't make pencil sketches. The model of Vidunas was discovered immediately. This means that the impression was so powerful that there was no search and we instantly started creating a massive piece of artistic work, Boris Krylov told us. Oles makes models the same way I do. Whoever has ideas gets to implement them. The models, yeah, I find it easier to shape rather than draw. Of course, I can make a pencil drawing just to put an idea on paper. This is mostly an art initiative that Boris came up with. He was the one to come up with this image, when we were working on the model. Art comes later, when we break out clay. When the process is coming to an end, yes, things get interesting. And this all takes a lot of time. For about a week, there is nothing interesting going on. Over many years, the artists have learned to find a common ground and understanding in the process of artistic search and work on projects. Well, I don't know, perhaps there is some plasticity needed, because it is worth it. Oh well, here's an idea. There will be grass here, and he seemingly rises over this grass, and soars. We'll have to make this a bit, a bit heavier. This will be for sure. Yes, yes, just like this. Will you make it? Well, I'll go get started there, and you take a break for now. Fine, I'll make a copy later, just like the one you have. Oles and I have been working together for 20 years in this studio. We support each other when necessary. We've never had any such artistic arguments. Sometimes over models, but if you don't like it, grab some plasticine and make what you want. The sculptors create only together. But their successful and cohesive work has its secrets. 
or listed or Rook shared some of them with UATV. Results are important for us, because we do this all for the society. For example, Boris sees Vidunas like this. I also have ideas somewhat different. I still step back and he does it the way it should be. Later, perhaps in the process, I'll add some of my own ideas or slight changes. It's important to respect one another. I'll stand like this, really beautiful. It's nice of you to be so busy with art. I'll just be over here, working with the wire. Hang this here, over here. Thanks. A bit more, and I'll start throwing clay at you. Let everyone see how difficult this creative work truly is. The artists created their own recognizable style and a particular pattern to their works. Thus, the monument to Vidunas draws interest. First of all, not with the way it was made, which is quite important as well, but with this composition, which impresses people from afar. Everything starts with a little model no taller than 20 centimeters, which you can fit on the palm of your hand. These are just souvenirs, such pleasant things for people. Maybe someone will want one, maybe for a gift, to present to each other. We take plasticine and start by making what we want to see in volume. This may be just a little model to start with. People already recognize us in Lithuania. When we take part in competitions where we exhibit our works, now the judges can instantly identify that this is our work, without a signature, I mean. This style is quite unique and obvious. We want the competition and our project must be as close as possible to what we presented there. There must be no changes here, it must all conform, that is historical correspondence and portrait similarity. This is the framework within which we work. In his articles and books, Vidunas fostered the notions of cordiality and generosity in people, the powerful intellectual content, and at the same time, the extreme humanness of the hero. This is the combination the authors were trying to achieve while working on embodying the Lithuanian genius in their sculpture. We didn't make him in an elderly age. We made him in the age of around 40. In this age, this image of spirituality was already formed in his persona in the face, the eyes and the hairstyle. These features were very much typical for him at the time. A sculptor's work, especially when it comes to monuments, is a long and slow process. You can't make a monumental sculpture in a month or two weeks. This means months and years. This is how the technological processes go. And this is also connected to the huge amounts of clay that needed to be mixed. Especially if it's a monumental sculpture, it must be analyzed constantly. Do a bit of work, analyze and look for some flaws. All this has to be fixed. This isn't some sort of expressionism. Everything should be well considered, thought out and made to perfection. We'll put stainless steel sheets here and here. This will be removed, and here we'll put the sheets. This frame will reach down to the knee. Down here we'll weld this to the sheet. We'll have to keep that in mind while shaping, it all has to be foreseen. If for some reason they want to make it look like a fountain, stainless steel will be used. Cool. Then we'll go this way. After modeling comes the technical work and it must be completed to a high standard as well. They need to copy the shape, make a wax model and send it for casting. To complete the process, all parts are assembled. The welding joints are carefully smoothed out. And inside, there is a frame made of stainless steel. All this beauty created by human hands. I think that the guys have managed, perhaps better than everyone expected. Of course, this work of art turned out to be perfect. We're very happy that last year the most prominent monument to appear in Lithuania was Vitez. This is Lithuania's national symbol that appeared in Kaunas, and it was also made here in Kiev, in its art workshops. And today we have a second monument, which will be installed in Klaipeda. This is exactly where the new Lithuanian president was born. I believe that Gitanas Nauseda will be one of those to develop these relationships through culture. When I was invited to the new president's team, I always spoke to him about culture. Because without state support, it's very difficult to implement major historical projects of this kind.
And as a person involved in art, the main thing is to enjoy both the results of their work and the process of creating something beautiful. It really was a pleasure. I think that they made the right choice, we proved them right, and they will please people and we will be proud. And Lithuanians will then be proud of Vidunas. The commission has already convened, they saw everything and everyone is pleased. It will be especially beautiful once it's mounted on the pedestal in Klaipeda, then it will be complete. Klaipeda is a special city. It is a maritime gate and a city with its special history and culture. And I think that this is wonderful.